All right, today I'm excited to show you how to use the panorama merge feature in Lightroom. So you can take multiple pictures taken next to each other and merge them into one document. It's so awesome and I'm gonna show you how I did it with the drone photo. All right, let's go. Here are photos I took from a recent camping trip and I have some drone photos near um, Lake Fulmore that has kind of a winding road and then in part of it. And then there's some other photos that have the sun coming up over the hill. And I didn't have the ability to capture the road and the sun in the same picture. So I took several pictures next to each other just by moving the camera slightly over, uh, knowing the images would overlap and I could stitch them together using the panorama merge feature in Lightroom. So here's how uh, we are gonna do it. So I've already labeled these pictures. So I'm just gonna turn on the yellow label. Uh, under my attributes. So here they are. Here you can see there's a picture of the sun coming over the hill. There's a picture of the road look, with the cameras looking down. There's another one of the road and then there's another one of the sun rising and another peak in the distance. So the way we do this is we highlight them all and then right click and we say photo merge panorama. And it's gonna bring up another window and you'll see creating panorama preview. And that's important because if nothing happens at this stage, it says like no data, um, your pictures don't match uh, close enough or there's not enough data for um, Lightroom to merge them. But here we see it's overlaid all the four pictures and created kind of this crazy shaped um, thumbnail. And I'm just gonna say, I'm gonna leave it on spherical and I'm gonna click, uh, click merge. Then it takes a second to process. And then what happens is it puts it together in one image. Now this is non-destructive. It's not ruining or changing the original images. And you have then a brand new image to work with. So with a little cropping and a little uh, Photoshop work to change the perspective a little bit, you can come out with an amazing, amazing looking picture. So once this image is edited, then we end up with something like this. Yep. And that's the picture. All right. Awesome. If you like this tutorial, subscribe, leave a comment. I'd love to hear from you. And uh, thank you so much. This is super fun for me. And this is something I was really, really excited to find out how to do. And shout out to Tony Eckersley on Instagram because uh, I saw him doing it first. And I, that's where I got the idea. So shout out to Tony. And thanks for this technique. It's, it's really enabled me to grab some mega panoramas and then get all those good elements into one image that then I can uh, process and post.